And so, Jen, how would you like to play Three Question Thursday? Okay. All right. I think that would be fun. <laughs> okay. Three Question Thursday. All right. Um, so, you, you, we'd, let's talk a little bit more about food, okay? Because you prepare a lot of vegetables, if you are the one preparing the vegetables and, and most of the cooking, is there anything that you do to prep vegetables in your home that, um, that you have found I, helpful? I do a lot of roasted vegetables. I think we had talked about that. So um, every summer I have a garden, you know, mm. on the, in the winter, I don't, but uh, I get stuff from the store, but whether it's from the garden or from the store, it's really whatever I can find. And I'll just take it, I'll put it all together, chop up whatever I have, um, put it on. Usually I'll do two big pans, two or three big pans. Um, and I like to cook it low and slow because it makes those flavors really pop. It just kind of pulls out every flavor from each vegetable. Um, so I usually put it on 250 and I let it cook for anywhere between one and a half and two and a half hours depending mm -hmm. on which vegetables. Uh, and it's great because you'll make your breakfast. And as you're making your breakfast, you kind of ch just chop the, the vegetables and then you put those in and they're ready when lunchtime comes around. Wow. And then you've got your extras. You know, to put in your container. That's great. Okay. Um, you know, you talked about psoriasis. Okay. So is there anything that you felt like um, really improved it as far as like, is it just all the overall sugar and getting rid of that? Or did you use any other? Um, I, I think for me, I think it must have been, I don't know if it was the sugar or the flour or the combination of both. But before that, I was on something called clobetasol, which I think is some sort of a steroid topical steroid and mm -hmm. just didn't like having to do that. I felt like that it was another medication I'm taking. Um, and I would have to wear them at night uh, with gloves, uh, oh wear, wear gloves. I would put, put the ointment on my hands and then wear gloves. And then uh, as I'm sleeping, I'm having dreams of being buried alive because I've got these gloves on my hands. Oh, and no. It was just awful, just really, really awful. So that was, you know, something that really needed to, I really needed to fix. So, so that's been I, a huge non-scale victory for you. Like, totally. I mean, that alone has been tremendous. So yeah, one that was the one question. thing I was looking for. That was my gauge. You know, yeah. if I could fix that, then everything else would follow suit. And it did. Wow. So that would probably even like your hair and stuff, because it does it or did it not get in the scalp? Okay. It was in the scalp also. The okay. back of my back of my scalp would also bleed well, and wow. crack and scab. Because I do know somebody who has that. And so that's why I wondered, but you had it on your hands too. Are they that's, doing BLE? They are not. Um, I had tremendous, horrible eczema at one point and I don't have it at all. So, wow. I mean, that's just, that's absolutely huge. So the last question, third question, um, if you had to say anything to your younger self. Yeah, I mean, you're young, but that Jen of six months ago, eight months ago, before you talk to your friend, what would you say to her? What would I say to her? I would say, try listening more. <laughs> try listening more. Maybe, maybe, yeah, just try listening more. Um, because I think, you know, when you're younger, you kind of think you know everything, um, which I think kind of got me in trouble because, you know, I, I ended up where I am today or where I was, you know, overweight and sick, unhealthy. Um, but I think if I, if I would just go back and, and listen more to, to advice, maybe research more, um, well, the thing is, I think with this formula, as we speak, that there's this um, knowledge that I find with the automaticity 
I, I don't care what time of the day is. If I could pack you a breakfast and lunch, basically just look in the fridge and I'll pull something together. And so with that new knowledge, I don't find I beat myself up for the past so much. Do you find that at all? Like, yeah. it's like there, you don't know what you don't know. That's as true. Me, as is how I feel. And so I'm trying to do as I know my friend Barb here, no regrets. Like I had to get there to get here. And you know what? You being in those positions now, here you are serving everybody by telling your story and you wouldn't have that story without doing all your homework with all the other stuff. And you've brought that all with you today and have been so gracious about sharing it. So I just thank you. And uh, I know others do too. So I thank you so much for doing what you, what you do. I mean, uh, like I said, you just want to scream it from the rooftops and I'm just so happy that you have started this and you are able to share all, everyone's stories and your story yeah. and, and help so many other people because that's what it's all about. You know, that's what yeah. humanity is all about helping others. That's it is. That's it. And uh, so I will close with that. And uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. And good night, everybody. Good night. Stay bright. Thank you.